If you're a new creator on YouTube and you've been struggling to make videos consistently, struggling to post things, then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to share some of the things that I've learned about creating videos on YouTube as a small channel, as a new creator. I think I have gained some valuable insights that would really help out new creators, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Reynolds and I am just a normal middle-aged woman trying to monetize my YouTube channel. <laughs> I have a background in IT and I have three kids. Two are adults and one is a junior in high school. And I just thought I would jump on YouTube and see if I can monetize this channel in an effort to make some extra income, pay off some bills, and hopefully someday retire and be very, very comfortable and be able to help my kids with whatever they need help with. I mean, they're Gen Z, right? They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna struggle probably because this economy is just meh. Anyways, so I wanted to go over some of the things that I have learned very, very recently about YouTube or about just video production in general, content production in general. I'm going to figure out a way to solve the problem or I'm just going to basically bulldoze my way through and just do it anyways. Number one problem that I have with creating videos is being in the mood and feeling like I'm presentable enough for camera. I just woke up. It's like 5 58 in the morning. I have my coffee. I have my my little emotional support sweater on, no makeup on. I just I literally do not want to make a video right now. But I want to have more content and I do have things to say. So, if I waited until I was in the mood and felt presentable like I was you know, dressed up, had my hair done, had my makeup done, that would probably be a 1% chance ever because I don't do those things often. Yes, I, I shower and I look presentable, but I don't always put makeup on. I mean, I, I maybe wear makeup like once a month. I don't really do my hair. I'm kind of like a wash and go gal. Um, but a lot of times when I've done those things, it's too late in the day for me to make a video. For example, I might not take a shower until p till 2 p.m. I work from home. So if I don't take a shower until 2 p.m. and I'm not wearing like normal clothes, like not just PJs, well now um, my husband could be home and now I can no longer record. So I can solve this problem by getting up early, showering, doing my makeup, getting presentable. I just don't like the idea of sitting all day in uncomfortable clothes with makeup on and having it on my face and just feeling uncomfortable. So I just don't see myself doing that. So what I'm going to do instead is just record myself as I am. And, and this is it. This is the real, the raw. This is Jamie. This is how I am. I'm wearing what I wore to bed last night with a sweater on top. <laughs> no makeup and I'm just drinking my coffee and, and I'm making this video. My point to you is that you can do the same thing in whatever degree that you're comfortable with. This, that's tip number one, is basically come as you are. If you know that Nirvana song, uh, come as you are, and that's just the way it is. Because that's the only way that I'm gonna get a video out more frequently. The second thing that I've learned is to make a list of all the things that I want to make a video about so that I have like a content idea bank. And I went through and I have a list of, it looks like about seven different videos and not even including this one. This one's kind of like ad lib. Uh, seven different videos, the things that I want to make that I think would be interesting and that, that I'm excited to make. That's the whole point. It's not just a bunch of ideas that are like, nah, you know, whatever, but ideas of videos that I want to make and I'm excited to make. So I made the list and then I also did kind of like a outline of the points that I would want to make. So kind of like not a script, not a script like word for word, but like these are the main points that I want to make on my video. So I've got those on my little thing here. So I'm going to start making those videos and getting those posted. The next thing that I wanted to say is I've been struggling for, gosh, I want to say close to two years on what my niche is. And, you know, people say you have to know uh, what you're talking about and who your ideal audience is. And I can tell you for the past two years, I really haven't known. I've just been making videos and throwing spaghetti on the wall. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think we are rich and complex creatures that it, we have so many interests that it's hard to focus on the one or the two. Unless you're one of those people that it doesn't matter what you talk about and you can share your whole life. There's, there's just some people that 
are really good at storytelling and they're really they're just interesting people it doesn't even matter what they're doing they could be just sitting on the side of the road watching cars go by and and that somehow they would make it interesting right i'm not one of those people i feel like i need to have a niche or i need to have like a set Thing to talk about because I really don't think anybody would want to watch my life. It's super boring. It's it's <laughs> it's very very boring, and I don't think that I'm a great storyteller yet. So maybe one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working on it. But it's 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 like these these are skills that if you don't have them you have to develop them. And I think it, it just takes time to develop these skills. And I'm and I'm still working on them. So back to my niche. I think it's okay to not have a niche, not to know what to post, and just start posting stuff. I didn't know what my niche is, I still don't know what my niche is, and I'm still posting and trying to figure out what's going to do well. And that's what I would say to you if you're watching this, if you're still unsure, and that's the reason that you haven't posted, just post. Just post stuff and that will hopefully someday, and I'm still in it, I'm still in it. Hopefully someday it will become very apparent to you what your niche is. I think mine is starting to become more clear. Like I'm a teacher at heart. I like to share what I, I've learned. I'm sharing this with you right now. I'm sharing this video with you like that. Nothing makes me happier than learning something and sharing it. I, I have that whole, uh, that saying when one teaches to learn. That is me to a T. So uh, I think that's what my channel needs to be about. I do also make product review videos because I, um, as I did the thing with TikTok, I also do Amazon review videos. And that's where I'm, I'm struggling on where on what to post. It's, it's either between here's how you do it, here's how you make money on TikTok shop, Amazon, how to you know make a YouTube video, how to make a TikTok video, how to post, blah 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 blah. Like here's how to do it. That's one part. And then here's the actual review video. Here's my review video of this product that you might be interested in. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, I'm kind of stuck between those two and I don't know if I can marry them. So I think I have made some progress over the past almost two years. I've narrowed it down to that kind of place. So I guess I'm not completely lost. <laughs> I'm not completely lost in what I'm doing. Um, so back on more of the things that I have learned about making videos for YouTube and posting them. The next thing is I have learned a lot about sound, lighting, video production, editing, that kind of stuff. I think that, gosh, that could be a whole nother video series, literally, because it is so important, all of those things that I listed. Out of all of those, I think probably the most important is to have a steady shot unless you're vlogging and you know you're bouncing around that's kind of part of vlogging is is you're walking around and you're doing stuff but if i wasn't vlogging uh i would want a steady shot so i have my camera on a tripod i actually invested in a nice tripod i'm gonna do another video i'll actually post it right here when it's ready of the equipment that i have and go into the reasons why I purchased and and got all the stuff that I did. But it, the video is not ready yet. I have to make it. That's one of the videos on my list. So I think that's really when, important when you're doing these kind of videos is to have a steady shot. The next most important thing is the audio. And audio I have struggled with. I have talked about this on other videos, but I have a hearing impairment and I wear hearing aids. And audio is just my nemesis. I literally, <laughs> it's just like, it's so hard for me to get audio right. And I'm still learning that. I'm still, still learning audio. The, fu the funny story is, is, so I've been using the, the shotgun microphone on my camera and I, I kept posting videos and people are like, your audio is way too low. I'm like, what is the deal, dude? Like, I have all of this these microphones and I keep like using them. Like, why don't they work? And for this one specifically, I had my microphone plugged into my headphone jack not the microphone jack. So on my camera, it has two little doors and you would think they would put it on the main door with the other plugs, but it, it's not. It's in its own little door that you have to open. And I was like, ah! So now it's in the right, it's in the right place. And hopefully the audio on this video is good. I think people are more forgiving of bad video than they are of bad audio. So you don't want to have a lot of 
background noise. You don't want to have like a lot of, here, I'm just going to demonstrate, but stuff on your camera, like crispiness or thing that's just annoying. Um, you want to be able to hear the person clearly loud enough, etc. So I think audio is a very, very important. Uh, what was the other thing that I was talking about? See, I lose my chain of thought. If I don't see, I didn't, this is an ad the video. I didn't write down my points. So like that, I think as, as a really big lesson is to write down your main points. And I already flubbed, I already flubbed in this video. <laughs> But I think that would be my next point is like, like, don't take yourself too seriously. Like, and this is actually, you know what, this is probably like the biggest lesson that I've learned recently is that I don't have to treat every video that I record and upload as a masterpiece. Like, I don't have to be like Steven Spielberg and be, you know, this has to be completely perfect. I, like, I can't post it until it's perfect. It's perfect. No. Done is better than perfect because if you never post anything, you're never going to monetize. Never. If you post zero videos, I can guarantee you, this is the only thing that I can guarantee you. If you post zero videos, you will make zero dollars. You have to get to the point where uh, done is better than perfect and I, I hear this all the time. I just have to accept that I'm going to record a video and then I'm going to watch it back in a week, a month, a year and go, oh, I could have X, Y, Z. And I think that's part of the growing process. I think that's part of the growing and the learning and the, you know, getting better at this is recognizing that your, your videos from earlier on, you were missing stuff. You didn't ex explain this enough. You, you know, messed, I don't know, whatever your editing sucked or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be things that a year from now I'm going to cringe and that's a good thing. <laughs> that is totally a good thing. You want to cringe at your earlier stuff because if you cringe then you know that you're 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 you've learned, you've grown, you're better than you were that day. So that's just huge for me. And that's the reason that I'm making this video right now not completely made out. My 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 lighting still sucks. I still suck at lighting. I mean, you can kind of tell that on this video. I made strides in the audio. I made strides with the tripod, but my lighting, I still just cannot get right. I'm not a lighting expert, you know? Like, I'm just a normal 40-year-old woman. Like, I, like, I didn't go to lighting school. <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's something that I can improve on. There's something that as I keep doing this, I can find the right combination, right? Because I'm in my master bedroom. This is not a studio. Uh, you know, this is my bedroom lighting and a, and a key light. Uh, you know, I, I prefer sunlight, but it's 6, 17 a.m. I, I don't have sunlight yet. I, I would prefer to have natural lighting, but... Um, I feel like I'm rambling way, way too long, but those are the things that I wanted to share. I wanted to share all of those points that I mentioned about starting a YouTube channel, you know, and just get posting, just the things to focus on, like I said, to have a, have a bank of ideas, have uh, like a little mini outline of the main points that you want to make, um, have your... your video be stationary on, you know, a surface or a tripod or something, have sound, have your sound be as best as you can get, you know, just keep working on getting these things better as you go along, you know, sh come as you are, you know, if you, if you want to do a full foundation and makeup and hair and go for it. But if you're like me and you cannot even stomach doing that once a month, <laughs> and it, it, like, I, I literally, I don't even wear a foundation. I don't even own foundation, but the idea of getting all that that made up in order to make a video I, I would never make a video it would never get done so um that that's just what i wanted to share I, I have more videos coming about the various other things that i'm learning and i am going to go into more detail about some of the things that i touched on today about writing the scripts and um, my audio like I, the other video i mentioned about my equipment and why i selected them i, I do want to do more videos about that but i think i'm going to wrap this one up because i um I just wanted to give you something. I feel like you don't need to watch a three hour video about all the things I learned. I want to give little pieces and then you stew over it and you think about it and then come back and watch another video and come back and watch another video. That, that's whole, my whole point. And that's 
how YouTube works. You want your viewers to come back. You want people to get to know you. I, I do. I want people to get to know me and um, come to like me and continue watching me. I mean, that's the whole point of YouTube is to build a community. All right, so that is it for this video of me just as I am and um, spewing out information to you. So <laughs> if you like this video, please consider subscribing. The subscribe button is right down below. You can also like the video. You can leave me a comment, idea, maybe something that I can pr improve on, helpful hint. You know, if you have a YouTube channel, put your YouTube channel down below and how many subscribers that you have. I, I, this is all about like helping each other grow and and helping each other monetize. I hope to catch you in a later video that I have and I hope that you have a great day. All right, bye.